Resolution 117, uh, the legalization of marijuana. It was the second most popular resolution on the site in the run-up to the convention. Um, are we at a point where we can have an adult conversation and a good I debate think, about I it? I think we need to have a good debate. Uh, if I, I'm reminding you that uh, you were the one who put up the decriminalization of marijuana. Uh, this is the party of, uh, of debate. This is the party of openness. And uh, I think we have... We, People might not be in favor, you know, you can be in favor or against, but at least you need a true debate because this is a society's issue, a social issue, and we have to take a look at it. And I'm from Toronto, where the mental health situation... You want to talk about it? No, no. <laughs> Don't tell me you're for the Maple Leafs. I'm from Montreal. I, I was born in Montreal, and I'm a Habs fan. True, okay, okay. true, and true. My father wouldn't let I have, me... I have my, a lot of respect for him. My father <laughs> wouldn't let me watch Maple Leaf games. He wouldn't even let me watch them. Way to go, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we do have a big mental health problem in Toronto, um, and that's one of the issues right now that is uh, it's getting a lot of coverage. I mean, what, what can be done, and, and how do you sort of balance the public dollars versus uh, programs that are already there and, and making role, them more efficient? And you see, we have the same problem. We had a, an incident in, uh, in Quebec where uh, a homeless guy lost his life, has been shot, and he, he was mental ill. We, we noticed that. I think that uh, the role of a government, we're not a business, we are there to provide services. So it is important that uh, we provide all the tools and, and protect the people and protect the individuals. So we have to make sure that we have the healthcare, the proper healthcare process, uh, you know, mental health, uh, uh, mental disease, all that. And, and we, we, it's not a program a la carte. It, it, it should be a vision, a society's uh, issue, it's a social and important issue. Uh, but sometimes you have an impression that uh, you, this is the poor cousin of the programs all the time. So uh, everything regarding quality of life, uh, equities, uh, uh, helping uh, for, for the hospital, providing uh, a human face also to help those people to, to go through that disease. And, and there was, a, you know, in the 70s in Quebec, they put what we call disinstitutionalization. My English is poor. It's even in French, I can. So you're a Habs fan. It's okay. That's thank you. But uh, but more but, but seriously, some people feel that we let down the, them. So they're outside. They're out there. So it's not just a matter of a program. It's a matter of what are we going to do to make sure that our citizens have a good quality of life, and no matter what's the age. And uh, I, I believe that in the in 2014 we will have a new healthcare deal, and the role of the federal is important that we have a better access, that we play our role, and mental health should be one of that uh, priority. If you do remember, we had also, and that's, my, that's one of the consequences, suicide. We, we, we had a very strong and, uh, and uh, important debate on suicide. And there's some relationship with uh, mental health, of course. And there's a lot of issues regarding education, regarding uh, awareness, and, and I believe that uh, it should be a priority. It has to be a priority. And uh, lastly, before we let you go, is there ever going to be a politician or a party that figures out the way once and for all to, to just break through that armor of apathy among young people uh, and to get them more involved in politics? You're a, you're a bit uh, rude, I would suggest. Because, well, let's put it this way. I just got called rude. <laughs> I like him. No, I'm a thank you. I call this beta I, I am as well. My, you see, brother, I had a passion. I was five years old, and I had that great teacher. I was a bit, you know, turbulent, but I'd like to express myself. And I had the opportunity, it's like a coach who saw the sparkle in my eyes, and uh, my passion was to have a voice for those who doesn't have any who have less. And uh, I think that we need to be authentic and we need to have to make some place. So there is, it's not, it's not a black and white issue. You have politicians already in some parties who will make place room for, for, the, for the youth. I really believe that uh, this party, and look at all the young people who are participating, and we are at the era of the numeric society. We have social media and all that. I think that uh, it's like the field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. And it's not, and I, what I would give you, sometimes it's not the young who's not interested in politics, it's politics who's not interested in the, in the youth. So it's not apathy sometimes, sometimes it's futility. Sometimes it's a lack of communication, sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's just to say, well, okay, it takes two to tango. So I won't dance with you, but... <laughs> well, thanks very much, we appreciate Pleasure, you brother. taking the time and have fun for the rest of the weekend. Okay. Enjoy, thanks. Thank you very much.